G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be looking at division with decimals. And as you can see, there's gonna be lots of examples to work with, so you're gonna get really good at these and see all the different ways this can occur. So let's get to the first example. We have 5.52 divided by 0 0.3. Now the first trick to dividing with decimals is we are going to ignore the decimals. We're going to treat these numbers like there were no decimals. What I mean by this, is we're going to treat 5.52 like 552 and we're going to be dividing that by just 3 and then we'll work out the decimals at the end. So let's work this out. So first off we write it out like this we have 552 divided by 3. So let's start here. So we have 5 divided by 3 which is equal to 1 with 2 left over. So now moving along we have how many times is 3 going to 25? 3 goes into 25 8 times, 3 8 to 24, so there is 1 left over. Finally, how many times does 3 go into 12? So 3 goes into 12 4 times, and this gives us, well, almost our answer. So we have this answer of 184. But now we have to deal with the decimals. Where's the decimal place going to go here? Now, the way we worked it out, pretty simple, is we're going to look at our original numbers that we started with. We have 5.52. Now, as you can see, there are two numbers to the right of the decimal place. So I'm just going to write that down. There's two of them. We're dividing by 0 0.3, which has one decimal number, one number to the right of the decimal place. So that's a one there. To work out how many numbers behind the decimal place, we simply subtract here. So two, take away one, this is equal to one. So we're going to have one number where we're going to be to the right of the decimal place, one decimal number here. So let's get that. So we start out right here, and we move one in, and our decimal place is gonna go right there. We have one number to the right of the decimal place. Our answer is 18.4. Pretty easy, right? If you follow those steps, you'll be pretty okay. Just notice these numbers do get a little bit hard as we go along, and you do have to modify just a little bit, but it's not too difficult. So let's get to our second example. So for our second example, we have 996 divided by 0.12. And we start exactly the same way, by ignoring those decimals. So I'm just going to rewrite it out. So 996 divided by 12. That's what we'll work out first off. So let's work that out. So we have 996, and we're dividing by 12. So first off, how many times is 12 going to 9? Well, it doesn't. So we're just going to carry that 9 along. So now we're going to be looking how many times is 12 going to 99. Now 12 goes into 99 8 times. You know. 12 times 8 is 96, so we're going to have 3 left over. Next, how many times does 12 go into 36? And it goes in nice and evenly 4 times. So there's the first part of our answer. The first interim part of getting our answer, we just need to work out the decimal places now. So let's do that. So we have a look at 996. As you can see, we have 0 decimal places there. I'll just write that in, 0 decimal places. And then we are dividing by 0 0.12, which has one, two decimal places. So that's two of them right there. And like before, we subtract. So zero, take away two. The answer is negative two. Now, what do we do when we have a negative number here? Well, as you remember, last time what we did is we moved to the left here, where the decimals went. But this time, because we're going negative, what we're going to do instead with our decimal is we're going to move in this direction. So let's do that. So we start with the decimal here, and we move one, two times. And where we have those gaps, we're going to put our zeros. And there's our answer, 8,400. So 996 divided by 0 0.12 is 8,400. All right, I know you're going to want some more examples, and you know there's some more coming, so let's have a look. Okay, for our third example, we have 794, and we are dividing by 0 0.06. Same rules apply, we are going first off to divide like there are no decimals there. 794 divided by 6, which is not a very difficult question to do. So let's do that to start off with. 794, and we are dividing by 6. So first off, how many times does 6 go into 7? It goes in once, with 1 left over. And how many times now does 6 go into 19? Well, 6 threes are 18, so it goes in 3 times, and there is 1 remainder, which we carry over. Now, how many times does 6 go into 14? Now, 6 goes into 14 two times, because 6 times 2 is 12. And as you'll see, there is 2 left over. So what do we do with that? 
Well, what we can do is we can continue this along. I'm going to continue along our little uh, line there, and I'm going to put some zeros in there just to continue on our journey. And I'm going to do the same there. Put a little dot up there, a decimal place. We're going to have to deal with that in a little bit. So now, how many times does 6 go into 20? Well, 6 goes into 20 three times. 3 times 6 is 18, and there is 2 left over. And how many times does 6 go into 20? Well, look, once again, it goes in threes. And in fact, this is going to continue. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, ad infinitum. So we have this answer so far, which is as follows. We have this answer of 132.33. Now, we still have to deal with these decimals, even though we have a decimal place here. Let's do that. So first off, when we have a look at 794, we have no decimal places. And from that, we're going to subtract how many decimal places? One, two. So we've got zero, and we're taking from that two decimal places, which is going to mean that we're going to be moving backwards two decimal places. That is to say, we're not going to be moving left like we did in the first instance. We're going to be moving to the right. So let's do that. So this decimal place, which is here right now, is going to move to the right one, two times. So our answer is going to be 13,233. And I guess you can continue on this point three, 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 right onwards. Cool. How'd you go with that one? All right. I told you they're going to be all different. Now let's get to the last question. So finally, we have 9.312, and we are dividing this by 400. Now, as you can see with this, our answer is going to be 0.00 something, because 9 is much smaller than 400. But let's just treat it the same, and we'll work that out in a little bit. So we're going to go 9,312, and this time we're going to divide by only 4. I'm going to ignore those zeros, and I'm going to come back to those in a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to deal with those. So let's do this. We have 9,312 divided by 4. So 9,312 divided by 4. Let's work that out. How many times is 4 going to 9? It goes in 2 times with 1 left over. How many times is 4 going to 13? It goes in 3 times. 3 4s are 12. So there's 1 left over, 1 remainder. Now how many times does 4 go into 11? Well, 4 goes into 11 2 times because 2 times 4 is 8. And that means we have three left over. And finally, how many times does four go into 32? Four goes into 32. Eight fours are 32. It goes in eight times. So, so far we have this interim answer of 2,328. But now we're going to work out what these decimals are doing. All right, so what are they doing? As you can see here, we started with 9.312. That means we have one, two, three numbers behind the decimal place. I'll just write that in. There's a three. Now, from that, we're going to be subtracting. As you can see here, we have 400. And these aren't behind the decimal place. In fact, if anything, they're quite the opposite of this. The decimal place would be right here, and decimal numbers are on this side, but we're going the other way. So, in fact, we count in one, two times. We're going to treat this like a minus two. All right, so rather than actually subtracting two decimal places, we're going the opposite of decimal places by making it into a 400. So, as you can see here, we have 3 minus minus 2, which is equal to 5. All right, so we're going to move five decimal places. So starting right here, we're going to move five decimal places to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, what do we do there where we have this little gap? Well, the decimal places ended up here. We put a 0 just there. So our answer is going to equal 0.02328. That is our answer, and that's how you work these out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope it was of some help. If you liked it, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. And visit us at the Tech Math Channel. We have lots and lots and lots of math tricks and lots of math lessons for you to learn by. A big shout-out to my subscribers and my patrons. As usual, thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.